Students should take the ACT that's offered to them this year because it is free for the students. Um, and it is part of our standardized test that we have to take for the state. So you used to have to take the AZ Merit, um, and before that you guys had to take AIMS. Now ACT is the state test. Then it also serves as a way for the state to decide whether our school is doing what it's supposed to be doing, teaching the students. And we need students to do their best so that they can show that they're learning what they're supposed to learn when they're in high school. And if everybody's not doing their best, then we lose money and then we lose programs and we lose classes and teachers and all kinds of things. So we want to make sure that everybody um, has the opportunity to do the best and take the test. What was it like taking the ECT? It's a difficult uh situation if you're not like used to taking long tests. There's a lot of rules and stuff you have to follow. Uh, also, if you're more prepared for the test and if you just take practice tests, then you're sort of used to like how long it's going to be. How has your ACT scores helped you with getting into the college that you want to get into? So uh, I'm going to the U of A and based on my ACT scores and GPA, uh, I get a certain amount of scholarships, so the better you do on tests and in the class, then you get uh, more money. How are your teachers helping you to prepare for the ACT? My math teacher, she's been giving us like ACT warm-up problems, and we've been studying other stuff that's like probabilities and all that. Mm -hmm. So those kind of things, I'm not sure if we might see another problem if we do. Everything that she's been teaching us will be super helpful. Um, a lot of my teachers uh, have like brought up the scores and even showed you like graphs and stuff like that for your scores to show you like how much scholarship money. Uh, they're just trying to like really push that, uh, you know, and try and show you that like testing is a positive thing. And how do you feel about the upcoming ACT? I feel like I'm getting prepared for it. Like there's no worries about it. The only worry is that the timing, because I don't do so well in time oh, okay. tests. But other than that, no other worries, just pay attention to it. Do you have any friends who tell you that they don't want to take the ACT? You know, there's always a handful of friends and uh -huh. there's always that person that doesn't like school. And you know, I'm not the biggest fan either, but it's just, you know, sometimes you just got to do what you have to do. And you know, you don't want to, you know, throw away opportunities you still have right now, um, just because, you know, you're just being a little lazy. What are the things that you're wondering the most about taking the ACT? Like personally, I just want to know like how like you prepare for it. Like. My advice would be to take practice tests uh, so you're used to how it's going to be. Also, just calm yourself before you take the test and just, just stay focused. Also, you can do stuff at home, either online, like ACT has a website where you can go and use the ACT Academy, and that will help you to practice for the online test taking environment that you're going to be in. Um, so be rested, you know, don't stay up late, don't try to cram the night before. Those will be the things that will help you make the most out of the experience that you're gonna have here in this course that you get for free and then making sure that you can use them for college and then if you need to take the test again.